Jin Dobri Chest and hello today guys I'm bringing you the Q&A video outside actually I kind of figured I would switch up the environment today and instead of having it inside my house I kind of wanted it to be you know outside and right now I'm in this lovely park and it's just a beautiful beautiful day so actually I'll show you guys around so as you guys can see beautiful day empty park Ooh, Jivchina. Dzień dobry. Czy mówić po polsku? Tadeu, what are you doing? <laughs> I was waiting for your message. Are you going to help me with this Q&A? Sure. Okay, let's go. Alright guys, so I know that was really cringy and stuff, but yeah, I, you know, it looked a lot better in my mind whenever I thought of that, but I'm sure... We suck at acting. Yeah, that was probably really cringe. Okay, but anyways, I have some of the comments and questions that you guys asked, so... Let's just get started. So the first question from Terus Ciekawostki. Pozdrawiamy. Do you have the feeling that Poland is so tight? Many Americans have. Poland is tight. US But it's blues. not super t <laughs> <laughs> All right, so. <laughs> All right, so to summarize that, uh, yeah, Poland seems pretty tight. Uh, definitely a lot more so than what I'm used to, especially because I'm from a rural area, so. You know, I'm not used to like, honestly, I'm not even used to cities. Okay, the next question is from Maciek, pozdrawiamy. What is the strangest and the hardest part in learning Polish? The conjugations, all cases. that stuff, cases, gender, genders, <laughs> everything <Yeah>. basically. <laughs> the entire language, okay. Okay, the next question is from Mikołaj Św. Przypuszczam, że jest to święty Mikołaj. Twoi znajomi z USA, dzięki tobie też zaczęli się interesować polskim. Now let me translate the question to you. Okay. Do your American friends got interested in learning Polish thanks to you? I don't have any friends, okay? <laughs> <laughs> that's, the, that's the sad part about my life. Yeah, so I, I really don't have like any friends, I'll be honest. I have a lot of acquaintances. I don't really have like too many friends, like I'm just being honest. You know, long answer short, I don't have any friends. My brother learned a little bit of curse words and things like that. That's really That's it. what we always do. We poll as we teach others. Yeah, words. I know. Yeah. <laughs> the next question is mm -hmm. actually plural. Uh, fantastic girl. Pozdrawiamy. Do you watch any Polish YouTubers? If yes, then who? Yes, I do. I'll just go by, I'll just go down the list. These are like not in order at all from like which ones I like. Number one, Blovac. No Leaf. No Leaf. Rezi, Lucas uh, TV, he does uh, prank videos in Loveland. Yeah. Really? I, I commented on one of the videos. I was like, hey, I really like your videos. Mm -hmm. It's pretty funny. He did like a video with like acting like a priest and he was don doing something stupid, Whoa. I think, um, in Loveland. I was, that's my city, by the way. Yeah, and I recognized the street. I was like, hey, that's Loveland, right? He's like, yeah, it is. So mm -hmm. I thought cool. that was pretty cool. Cool, good to know. Tommy Craze. He's German. No, he's not, dude. Tommy he's Craze. fucking German. <laughs> Tommy Craze is Polish, okay? I mean, that's Re not the Polish first name and last name. Rest in peace, Jet Crew. Okay, rest in peace. Say that one. Marcin Małczyński, Malczyński, I don't know, because uh, he got rid of Polish letters from his last name. So, like, those are some of the ones that I'm subscribed to right now. I, I watch some stuff that just, like, pops up in my feed, though, like, some random videos. All right, so those are some of the YouTubers that I watch that are Polish, but if you have any more that you think I should watch, then just link me down below and I'll check them out. Maybe you guys want to do a collab, I don't know. Comment down below. Okay, the first question from the Szymek. Jakie są twoje ulubione polskie potrawy? What are your favorite Polish dishes? I think you were answering the question like okay. millions of times. Yeah, I mean, obviously, <laughs> Uh, pierogies. God, I can never say, I can never roll my R's when I say pierogies. Okay? Pierogi. Pierogi. Mm. Pierogi. It's, it's really difficult for me. I don't know why. Yeah, honestly, her mom's, like, home cooking is something I love. Like, anything. It can be kanapka. It can be some type of chaska. Chasta. Chaska. 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 Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, like, any of her mom's like home cooking i'm just not used to it here in the states okay the second question from the shimek would you ever want to live in poland <laughs> yeah so i'm actually kind of working on that we're in the process of that it's kind of difficult right now just for circumstances that i don't know if i'm comfortable about talking about right now 
but basically there's stuff that's holding me back from moving to Poland like as soon as possible. So uh, right now I'm basically like eliminating those circumstances, let's just say. And effectively. Yeah, <laughs> and I'm trying my hardest right now. And then from there, I will be able to come over. Actually, no, I don't want to lead people on like that. Because then they're going to think I'm like in jail or something. Or I have like something illegal. I mean, you, illegal. Can, you can be honest about the debt. I mean, that's... Okay, so have. I have student loans, okay? <laughs> it fucking sucks. All right, I will be honest. It fucking really sucks. Yeah, that's what holds you back from moving yeah. to Poland. And once you're done paying off your debt, mm -hmm. you're going to move. Because here's the thing, it's it's kind of a sad reality, is that PLN does not convert well into USD. So if I have to pay off debt, I would want to work here and pay that off. So, God, it sucks talking about this. It fucking sucks. But yeah, so the biggest issue is the conversion of PLN to USD because PLN does not convert well to USD. So, you know, and my debt is in USD and it's a lot. So right now I'm paying on it. I actually, I have, I think, I don't know however many thousands paid right now, but yeah. So right now I've just been working um, my hardest and I'm trying to pay it off. And then I'm moving to Poland once I do and I save up a little bit of money then I'm coming over. And if you guys have an employer that wants to hire me, uh, Cześć, dzień dobry. <laughs> <laughs> he speaks nice Polish. He's handsome. He's nice. Good manners. Aww. Um, yeah. Thanks. Not a typical American pig. <laughs> <laughs> he can clean after himself. Yeah, he's he's a good boy. I can mm. recommend him to you guys. Okay. The next question is from Stella Polska 26. Pozdrawiamy. How long ago did you start learning Polish, and was it easy in the beginning? You know, I, I think whenever I came over to Poland for the first time in 2017. August, August. 2017. Um, did I even learn any Polish at all? Like, I remember I before I came over, I really did not even know Jindabri. I'll be honest, I didn't know any Polish. And I only watched, like, briefly a few YouTube videos, like, by Cult America and stuff about Poland. And I was actually really inspired. Um, that kind of also inspired me to start this channel as well. But, um... Yeah, so, yeah. I mean... Our relationship basically relied on my knowledge of English. Now yeah. it's changing. Now it's, I mean, it's yeah. going to be 50-50 at some point. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> it's nice because, like, we can have um, kind of like a secret code here in the States because no one <laughs> speaks Polish here. Okay, so the next question. Pat RPB? Pat RPB? I don't know. Anyways, what's your favorite place in Poland? Gdańsk. <laughs> I think that I said this quick. the last. I said this the last Q and A. Gdańsk and then Zakopane. But yeah, if you can avoid peak season in both places, then it's just absolutely beautiful. Okay, I'm reading the question as it is. USA are a land of many heritage. What are yours? Do you speak any other language? That of course English. Okay. Um, yeah. So I already I already answered the language one. I only speak English really. Um, and a little bit of Polish right now. I'm learning and trying to learn You're that. doing good though. So I did the DNA test. It's mainly English, French, Scandinavian, and some Latvian as well. Yeah, I'm, I'm in the process of this DNA thing. Yeah. Poles usually do not do that because yeah. I mean, we think we're like pure, okay? Mm -hmm. It's 100% <laughs> legit Pole. Yeah. But um, I'm just curious. I mean, that was actually a gift from him. So mm -hmm. it, it's it's interesting to see what's going to show up. Yeah, I'm know. pretty curious. If she's so. Russian, I'm just going to have to break up with her. I'm sorry. No, 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 no. Okay, so the next question. Uh, Kamil Kasprzecki, pozdrawiamy. Nordic X, where did you get the idea for content? And when are you planning a visit in Poland? Nie wiem. I think just the entire experience uh, of like visiting Poland and then watching Cult America. Yeah, exactly. I started watching Ryan from Cult America and getting really inspired by him and some other guys as well, but mainly Cult America. And I think from there, I, I saw that there was an audience. Number one, like I was inspired by his videos, but I also saw there was a big audience for people who are interested in Poland from other places 
or they're just Poles who want to watch more about like an American's view on Poland itself. And this kind of inspired me to like basically talk about some differences between the two countries. And it's mainly topics that like I'm interested in, but also are topics that I think some of you guys also request. But I don't know, most of the time I'm really just at work and like I have some downtime and I'm just thinking about life. Szecha? Szecha? Szecha. Szecha. And like ideas just pop to me and I just put them in my phone and I make a video on them. That's mm. it. Okay. Uh, and the next question from Kamil, when are you planning a visit in Poland? This winter. I mean, honestly, I would come over a lot sooner and stuff, but again, like, I'm just paying off my debt right now, and... He's working his ass off, you yeah. know, 24-7, basically, so he yeah. doesn't really have time. But yeah. for winter, he's gonna chill in yeah. Poland and just yeah. come for Christmas and have fun. Yep, it's gonna be awesome. The next questions, plural. Mm -hmm from Charlie asked, what's the significance of the name Nordic Axe? Yeah, so it kind of has a background of like my heritage being Scandinavian, but that's that's pretty much it. I just kind of thought of that briefly and made it. What part of the US are you from? I am from... That's a complex question, trust me. It's not that easy. <laughs> yeah, you're right, actually, because... <laughs> so yeah, I was born in West Virginia and then I moved to Maryland and then during my school time, college, I was living in Pennsylvania, but now I'm also back in Maryland right now. Okay, so the last question from Charlie asked, so how did you meet your Polish girlfriend? Oh, okay, so I was on Instagram. I was liking in the hashtag, hashtag Polish girl. Mm -hmm. And um, how I got to that hashtag is a, in another story in itself, but- Tell me the story then. No, that's another story for okay. another day. Um, but for now, I was liking the hashtag Polish girl, okay? And, and basically, I came across Adriana's uh, picture, and I liked it, and then that was that. And she ended up liking like a few of my pictures back, and then I liked a few of hers back, and then she liked a ton of mine back, and then I liked basically all of hers back. Mm. And then we were commenting on each other's posts, and then... Uh, next thing you know, uh, she DM'd me and... Yeah, I was the one with the balls to yeah. send a message. Hey, but I liked, I liked your post first, so... Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that's kind of how we met. And then once we were talking in the DMs, we basically just hit it off instantly and we're talking every, every day and since. And after like two weeks of texting, he's like, I gotta meet you in Poland. I gotta come really? to Poland. Yeah. Was it two weeks? Yeah, I said it was that? like two or three weeks. Yeah. Seriously. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. I so mean, I was like, ah, eh, he's just promising me things, and he's not did gonna I do say that. that. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Dude. I mean, check if you don't believe me. No, no, no. I believe you. But uh, yeah, it was like two or three weeks after the first text was sent. He's like, wow. girl, I gotta meet you in Poland. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> and I was like, ah, eh, he's not gonna do that. <laughs> yeah. I mean, we clicked instantly and. I had to see her. Next thing you know, I was in Warsaw having dinner with you in the old town and yep. clicked bada some bing, bada more. Boom. Yeah, bada bing, bada boom. <laughs> clicked, clicked some more. So, yep. yep. And here we are in the States. Two he's, years later. Two years later. Wow. He, almost two years. That's um, weird to say. He's actually planning on moving to Poland. Yeah. I mean, I know. Like, it's, was, it's so weird to me. Like, two years ago to think that I would be moving to Poland is just. Yeah. Nobody like, would expect that. Yeah, no clue. I mean, let's let's just be honest. Like over two years ago, you wouldn't even expect dating a girl from the other side of the world. Same yeah. with me. I would never think about you know it's, having a b boyfriend. Yeah. In the states, like yeah. come on. It's hard to wrap my head around, honestly. Yeah. Like where I'm at right now in life, but it's awesome. And you know, I feel like I have direction and purpose now as well. So, anyways, uh, but yeah, I mean, she's given me a lot of purpose in life, and I feel like. I don't know. I feel like everything is slowly coming falling into, into place. place. Yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. Slowly, and it's a bit of a journey. Slowly but surely. Yeah, slowly but surely, and it's a long journey. All right, guys. So that's actually it for the video today. I really appreciate those who commented down below, or those of you who are really just watching the video. Either way, I really appreciate it. And if you guys haven't already, check out some of my other videos on this channel, where I basically just talk about Polish to American type of content here on YouTube, so 
yeah, that's pretty much it today. Stay tuned for the next video. Julian, love you too.